welcome to another video from Igne. Today we are going to be going into some of the combat math and how to figure out exactly the skill damage is, that is possible from any ant specific skill. So if you don't like math, this is probably one video you're going to want to turn away from. Um, I'm not going to go fully into breaking down every single concept, but I'm going to show you how you can use the same equation to be able to find whatever answer that you want um, as far as skills, maximum damage, um, combination, etc. So before we get into that, word from our sponsor. Uh, we are now sponsored by an app called Aptoid. And with that sponsorship, um, I will be putting it up on the screen now about where you can download the ants from Aptoid and using my promo code get from anywhere from 5 to 40% off all in-game purchases. It is completely safe. You can you still use your own account. There is no problem whatsoever. Unfortunately, it's only um, available for Android at the moment, but it will soon be available for iTunes. And with that, of course, um, in the description below will also be a link to my Discord. This is used as a community tool, so there's absolutely no bullying, no bashing, or anything like that. But you're welcome to come in and join, ask any questions. We got many knowledgeable people in there that would be happy to answer any question you have, or I will myself. Um, and on top of that, as we continue to progress with monetization and more sponsors and such, uh, what I will be doing is uh, for the first three months of any monetary gain that I get from um, any of the sponsors or anything like that, I'll be giving away 100% of it to whoever is in my Discord and subscribed to my YouTube. After that three months, I'll be giving 25% of it away to whoever is in my Discord and subscribe on YouTube. <coughs> so without further ado, let's get into it. And again, this is the last warning. If, if you're not a math person, this might not be the video for you. So, all right. So when you are looking at anything as far as trying to figure out the math on, hold on, let me open a battle report. When you're trying to figure out the math on anything, whether it be from what your attack was, your, your skill damage, um, how much damage each one had done, etc., etc., etc. How many skill kills and why I had that. You can really use the same equation to be able to break it down to see which skill triggered how much damage it did um, and kind of piece together and, and do the math on that. You can also look at a new ant and formulate a pretty good um, basis on whether the ant is going to be good or not. So how do you do that? So the very first thing is to realize that nothing in this game besides the original base, damage, health, defense, that's the only multiplicative part of this entire equation. After that, it's basically basic algebra, plug in A, B, and C. But we'll go ahead and do that. So if you go and look at, say, I don't know, of course, the stability of the game here. Go and look and say, T10, right? So you have an attack of 136. I'm just gonna cover attack. You, you can do this yourself on defense and health and all that. So you can start to figure out the equation um, yourself on that. But, so you take that, uh, what was it again? 136, right? So now you go and look and see how many total Ants you can have in a march. So for me, it's 339, 600. So once again, what I'm doing is I'm taking this attack number, 136, X or times, 339, 600. So what that is, what that number is right there, the 46,185,600, that is my base attack. That means if I have no special ants in there, no insect, no nothing, that is my absolute base attack. 
So after that, you start looking at some of the ant skills. So this is that one number, if you're looking at something that's based on attack, is the number that you're gonna have to, to hold on to for pretty much everything. So after that, good old stability of the game again. We'll look at Laffy. So I'll just take a, a random, uh, yeah, this is, this is a perfect example. So for this, it has a 100% chance to deal 200% plus special ant level plus uh, times 1% damage to a random squad and has a 30% chance to release this skill again. So essentially what that is saying, and remember when I had said that it's everything about your base damage. Now your base damage is also an individual ant damage. So with that skill damage, you have, with this, you would have a 100% chance. So the chance of the obviously is a complete ratio of the attack but then you know people will start saying well if your base attack is 46 million then you you know you take 200 percent of that you should be hitting you know anywhere from 80 80 plus million and that's not how it works so what your base attack does is it's actually so you had a uh 200 percent chance right so your base is 46, 185. So it's an additive 200%. So instead of it being like a flat 200% like you would think it should be, it's not. It's point, it's plus point, or it's plus 0 0.20% percent. Uh, percent which will put you at 46,277. And what that is, that is that skill release of that attack. So you have your base damage, which is 46,185. Now for each skill release of that special ant, you have the ability to additionally release that amount of damage. But it's all going to be based off of your initial base attack. And that's where having you know, higher tier ants and such is such a big deal because, you know, you, you as you progress in the tier, you're going to be hitting harder, et cetera, et cetera. So what that basically means is that in it has a 100% chance that in addition to this 46, 185, 600 normal attack, you are for sure also going to be doing uh, 46, 277, 971. Sorry about uh, some of the noise I have. I, I just recently got another puppy and he is being a little bit rambunctious. But anyway, so we'll take that and then that. So that means that no matter what, every time that that skill releases, it is going to do that much damage. So that is one of the reasons why Laffy is so strong is because it has that ability to always release that damage. So right there is 92, um, 92 million of the potential damage you can have out of each hit. So as you follow through, you can do that with all of the rest of it and find out what each individual skill can do. Now again, with that one, again, it has a 30% chance to release again within the same turn. So there's a possibility that you're even gonna be doing a lot more damage. But then you have to take into a factor, defense, health, what you're hitting, et cetera, et cetera. So like when you're hitting groundhogs and such, um, they are basically set up as guardians. So you're hitting guardians, so there is no counter, there is no um, anything like that. So it'll be a flat damage, which is really nice. But when you are attacking like a player, for instance, you have, you know, health, their own attack, um, their own defense, they're all taking part in, in the play. So when you are attacking somebody, obviously combat speed is the, is the thing that will get whoever it is to be able to hit first. And then you have to have the health factor. Like for instance, it'll take, um, 
it'll take 14 health, um, or I'm sorry, 14 defense to counter one health, and it'll take 6.5, uh, I'm, let me backtrack. It'll take, uh, yeah, 14 defense to be able to counter one attack, whereas it'll take 6.5 health to be able to counter one attack. So that'll drop your actual base normal attack down by a percent essentially now as you go out throughout the battle you'll see you know your forces are obviously start getting eliminated they're getting exhausted if, especially if they have like a silent school skill or anything like that or something that is a, is a plain counter then you're going to start seeing it more just like like with shooters and carriers they have a direct counter so shooters are already at a disadvantage as far as not only the health and the combat speed um, but because of the rock, paper, scissors, they're getting an additional 20% that's basically being taken off of their initial base attack or defense, health, etc. And then you have ants with direct counters like this one, which can reduce their damage by 20%. Now that is actual skill damage that's reducing, not the normal base attack. And... Um, and you have like slim arch that can completely silence to make it to where they cannot release their skill damage at all however they can still release their normal attack if i could find the damn thing uh it's probably in another march yeah so yeah you have like that one that um has the ability to suppress them, causing them unable to release their skill damage. So when you start looking into a battle report, when it starts saying, you know, skill kills, etc., like for this one, for instance, you start looking into each one of these, they'll say skills used. You can see the, the skill kills, um, skill kills, and then skill kills. Now, what you do from there is you would see like how many of the total troops killed, um, slightly injured, now slightly injured and skill kills, they, they count. Um, it's kind of stupid, uh, but you can see that even though your skills obviously are giving more of a, a advantage to what your actual attack is doing. That's not the basis of what does the most damage. It just enhances them, essentially. <coughs> so that's where using the right ants and using that comprehension between each ant is so huge. So how does this help when you're looking at, say, your um, a new ant that just came out? So we'll use, for example, um, we'll compare uh, all right, we'll, we'll compare, say, Reap Master. So Reap Master has the 50% to deal 308 um, percent damage, so that'd be point, uh, it would be 0 0.308 plus special ant skill level uh, times five, which, by the way, back it up, I forgot to even add that in the initial uh, initial equation, so you can, you can do that yourself. So for that one, it would have been... Um, for 200 percent it would have been uh plus 50 so it would have been point uh zero point two five instead of zero point two zero that was my bad but anyway uh so like for this one 50 percent chance deal 308 for the sake of argument we're going to take out uh special ant level because obviously when you first get a new ant you're not going to have it leveled up quite yet um and then this one 40% uh, 40 every other round because it prepares for a round to deal 3 to 16 and a possibility to suppress them for two rounds, which that is pretty powerful. And then that just in increases to your base attack, um, but that also applies to all of your base attacks. So when you're adding in this skill and say this skill, what you're doing is you're taking your your basic uh, your base attack adding these two together so 76 and 50 
be 126%. So it'd be when you, before you do your skill damage, you're gonna wanna take your base number and add 1.26% um, percent together to be able to get what your actual base skill damage before the skill activates will be, if that makes sense. And then you have that. So this one is two, five, and seven rounds. So you're, you're losing out of um, a couple of rounds of it actually being able to activate or actually doing any damage. So then let's say we go and look at something like Formica Claire. Say Formica Claire just came out. Actually, let's use, let's use something I don't have. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's use, uh, Okay, let's use like when Parada first came out. Um, which Guardians at that time were not very good at much of anything. So, of course, obviously you have that skill, which wouldn't have been nothing. So, now has a 55% chance to deal 73% damage to two random squads within the effective range. Grants a squad a 70% chance to dodge an incoming attack. So, you got two skills and one right there. So, obviously. It's, you can see right there, it would be something to be best in the front because your front is always the one to get depleted most. Now, this particular skill doesn't have a lot of attack, but if you add it up, you got 73% uh, that's going to be a, a to two different lines. So when you go and do your base damage, you take your base damage, plus obviously the attack um, that you would have from skill uh, four, um, you would add those together and then go ahead and figure out what your actual skill damage would be from that hit. Now, and obviously as it goes up, 55% chance to deal 225 to two random squads. So then you're, you're even more adding um, to that. Plus, it still has the 70%. Okay, and then... Now you have this one where it has a 65% chance to attack three times, dealing 55% plus special ant, uh, level damage each time to one random enemy squad within effective range. If it hits your enemy's back line, it reduces the additional skill damage of their next skill by 30%. So again, you're getting like a, a not only a dodge effect, you're also now getting a damage reduction of their back line which is always going to be their DPS unit. So right away, you can see that Pra is going to be a frontline support ant off of anything. So it's not even, you're not even looking so much at the attack factor already based off of two of his primary skills. So with that, honestly, I wouldn't even bother looking at the actual damage of the rest, and I would go and see what its next ones are. See, and now this one is where it puts it back onto the radar to where it becomes a damage ant. Because every other round, it now has a chance to do 81% plus special, uh, special ant level, 1.5% damage to all enemy squads. Uh, if the target is a shooter squad, which is what the, what the counter is, the damage rate will be doubled. So you would have, just base without special ant level, you'd have 162% instead of just that 81%. And that's not even to count when you get it leveled up to the max level where you would have uh, two times the uh, 195 to do the actual damage. So it'd be what, 20, 290%, something like that. Yeah, 290% without even having the special ant level. So right there, I mean, you, you could see if you, if you follow me so far with the math, it, and you can actually go back and, and say, okay, so say you're looking at getting that ant. So you already are keeping in the back of mind your counters. But then you go to, god damn, if I can find my fucking, there it is. So you go back to whatever guard units that you use. So like for me, right now it's T9. Um, I'm still working on my T10. So you take the 77 times whatever it is for your march, go through the process, start adding up in the skill damage, keep in mind the counter factors, and that's where you'll be able to see whether it's going to be a good ant to do. And you can also go through 
like I said, a, a battle report, if you know what each individual skill cap damage is from using that equation, because remember, everything is an additive and not a multiplicative after the very first base. So you can go through a battle report and break it down to see exactly, you can't see exactly what skill it was that fired per round, but you can go through and see which skills by adding together the numbers fired off for the, that entire battle. So like for this one, there was two rounds. Um, you can go through, you got your skill kills, troop kills. This is a bad uh, example to be honest because in a normal battle, you'd be able to obviously have deaths and such that would give a lot better uh, ratio, but we are a very peaceful server. So I don't really have a battle report that could probably show that. But anyway, you can see from um, the skill kills, which will tell you how much it actually killed off of the skill proc itself, and then the total kills with the slightly injured. So for this one, there'd be, um, so they had hit me, uh, or it had killed for 25, 25, 50. So the base did um, about 6,000 where the skill kills did the majority of the actual damage off of the giant tooth. For the Laffy, it'd be the same thing. There's 98,000 uh, skill kills, um, 44,000 of the base. And that's how you go through and you figure it out. I hope it made sense. If, if it didn't, um, I'm happy to delve further in this if people want me to do, um, like, honestly, it'd be like an hour and a half long video of showing exactly on paper, going down, breaking down each and every skill, how to figure out the math on each and every skill before and after. Um, I will. I'm just, I'm trying to kind of compose it and make it a smaller video so I don't bore people to sleep. Um, but the most important thing, if anything, if you get out of this video, is that base number, your base attack, your base health, your base defense, before the skill activation is, is going to be your, your core function or your core primary to any of the, any equation to be able to figure out what your peak um, would be. So as long as you keep that in mind, it'll help you going forward. But I hope it all helped you guys. And uh, if you did, drop a like, subscribe, jump in the Discord, and we hope to see you in the next one. Take me out.